hello guys hello everybody everyone on youtube guys today i have a new video review well not really a full detail review it's more of an overview of the first player gm3 gaming mouse from first player fire dancing yes this video is sponsored by first player so guys i am going to say what i don't like about this mouse and what i like about this mouse not because it's it's sponsored video means that i'm going to cover up the stuff that i don't like about the mouse so let's get started <laughs> Okay guys, well, taking a look at the mouse, we can see it right here. The mouse is RGB, okay? Uh, the only things that light up, it's the scroll wheel and the logo at the back. Right here I got the white mouse and I have the black mouse as well. My gaming experience with this mouse is very great. Now guys, right here you can see the mouse has one button over here to the right, I mean to the left. And it has one button to the right and this mouse right here guys it's a symmetrical mouse means that you can use it with the right hand for right-handed users and you can use it with the left hand for left-handed users that is a very very convenient thing for you know every type of uh, gamers and users so that is pretty pretty cool at the top of the mouse you can see right here we have the right click right here we have the left click and right right at the top right up here as you can see right here right at the top it's the dpi uh the dpi changer is where you change your, your uh, dpi now this uh this mouse right here guys ha comes with a software okay and you can change, you can set each color to each uh, DPI number that you set it at. So right now, you can see that we have green, we have yellow. Let, let's start from number one. This is my number one speed. This is my, my speed that I play in every day. Uh, I have set it up to white. Okay, I don't know if you can see that right there. I have set it to white. And the second DPI option is blue. The third one is green, you can see right there is green, and the fourth one is yellow, this is like the extreme. Now this mouse right here guys, goes up to 4000 DPI, it has the Avago 3050 chip, um, Juano micro switches, black, and I have to say guys, that, oh wait, 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 yeah, it has the Juano micro switches. I was reading the wrong thing here on the screen. But guys, what is my experience? What do I think of this mouse? Well, I like the fact that it has the right click over here and it has the left click over here. You know, forward, I mean forward and backwards. And honestly, guys, in my personal opinion, it kind of sucks to have the big buttons in here. And the reason why, the reason why, it's because when you're gaming, Okay, when you're gaming, randomly, you hit the buttons. And that is very inconvenient. I do not like, that's one thing that I don't like about it. And it's a big thumbs down for that. But other than that, guys, I mean, if you can put your finger right here, if, if you can place it right here, and if you can see that clear, if you can place your finger right in here, you're fine. <laughs> But most of the time, your finger is right here. And yeah, it kind of sucks when you're gaming. But other than that, guys, this mouse is very good. It feels exactly like the SteelSeries 1000. That's another thing that I noticed when, when I got the mouse. It's the feeling of it. Right on your hands, it feels like the Steel Series 1000. Now, for the price right now, it's going at $19.99 on the Amazon store. And guys, I have to say one thing. I have, I started using this mouse. I replaced my other one. So now, guys, I have replaced my Basalia's gaming mouse with this one here because it's all white and it's RGB. And I have to say, guys, that I am very, very impressed by the performance of this mouse. The cable is braided, it has a braided cable, 
it's white and uh, gray strips on the white version and on the black version it's a black cable with gray strips and it's a USB cable very very nice it's just a plug and play and you're good to go other than that guys this mouse it's completely amazing it's a great mouse I'm gaming with it every day and like I said guys the only problem and the only thing that I find an issue in it's the size the side buttons I mean the side buttons guys this big old button here it's just unbelievably crazy you hit that thing all the time anyway guys so thanks for watching this review if you're thinking about buying this mouse let me tell you something thumbs up thumbs up for this mouse you won't regret it the material feels so great it's just freaking awesome one thing that I am forgetting to say guys is that this mouse the black version has like a rubber finish at the end okay all the way around here and it comes up to the mouse into the scroll wheel and it comes all the way up here and the white version doesn't the white version it's completely it's the same material that is at the top very glossy 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 see that I don't know if you can see that I mean it's not it's nothing bad it's good I like it I'm not complaining I'm not saying anything bad about it I just wanted to point it out guys the scroll wheel of this mouse is fantastic look at this one this thing is a beauty it's it's got a clear coating on the wheel and it's just great see that I don't know if the camera can pick, pick it up very good but anyway guys, uh, like I said, the material of this mouse, it's simply, simply sick. It's very good. If you're thinking of getting this mouse, don't think about it twice. Thumbs up for this mouse. And like I said, one more time before I go, the side buttons really suck. Now let's take a look at the software here. Okay guys, so here I am on this software version. So pretty much once you download it, it comes down to your desk and you click it open yes and let's wait for it. oh yeah I forgot you have to come over here and find it here okay guys you have to come over here it's not nothing's gonna pop on the screen you have to click over here and it's gonna come right up I was going nuts the first day when I had it I'm like where the hell is my software so here it is so pretty much guys I'm not going to guide you on how to use it or anything like that but what you can see right here is that this is your first option right here you got you know the left click the right click number two uh, number three is the mid click or the scroll wheel uh, number six it's the DPI loop and number five it's backwards number four is forward uh, easy and simple see that some of that stuff is not responding or I don't know if that's the way it is and like I showed you a little bit ago right here is your DPI settings you can change the color mine I have it a little bit bluish because the mouse if I put it on white it, it, it becomes a little reddish uh, you know the RGB they probably didn't use high-end RGB or you know how the RGB light works so I had to make it match with my gaming mouse uh, with my gaming keyboard so right here guys this is the color of it take a look in here let's click ok and right here you can change the lighting effect dpi effect uh, i mean they should rename this and put he put here rgb effect right here you can you know change it i have it on standard i liked it i like it on all the time but you can uh, change it to respiration and yada yada you play you um, hit apply and now the mouse is gonna start, you know, acting different for seconds. RGB effect. Do, do, do. Oh, actually, the light turned off. Oh wait, wait. I have it on black. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, let's click that, and let's click OK. Apply. There it goes. There is a. Um, let me turn off the light here. And there it goes. Wait, wait, wait. And there it goes. That's the effect that I select right there. Okay, which I don't like it. We can change that to 
let's see uh, uh, let's see the flash we hit apply and now it's flashing it was flashing <laughs> it was flashing now it's changing the colors the respiration uh, let me see our RGB flash it flashes for three seconds okay they need to do some work in here as well uh, like I said guys you guys can change this let's see what is neon let's apply neon okay now it's doing the flash I guess not or I guess it flashes for a few seconds but you can see right here guys it's uh, changing color and everything and like I said you can change your um, your DPI settings I have mine my first one at 1000 my next one goes up to 2000 the next one the next one goes to 3000 and the other one goes to 4000 like honestly who uses that unless you have ultra wide a triple monitor screen then you can you know select that right there but I don't use that I always keep mine at 1000 uh, let me change this because I don't like the lighting effect it's nice but mm, I like I don't like that stuff so I always leave mine at standard and I have my RGB lights if I want to change my DPI settings I mean my DPI yeah if I want to change my DPI settings then I just click here the DPI uh, changer or whatever but I always leave it on white so it matches my gaming keyboard guys thanks for watching this video like I said if you want to buy this mouse it's bang for the buck it's a good mouse it feels great and it's just sick I'll see you guys next time stay tuned stay beautiful I love you guys